Welcome to the second video of B-Scan series. I am Dr. Sharjil and today we will discuss localized vitreous pathologies. In the next video we will discuss diffuse vitreous pathologies. So the first B-Scan is showing normal hypoechoic vitreous in a large myopic eye. Always assess the size of the globe from B-Scan that whether it is normal, enlarged or small. Now comes the dynamic B scan video. You can appreciate the round or oval shaped encapsulated lesion in front of the retina. Now, sound waves striking capsule gives hyperechoic shadows and relatively heterogeneous internal signals can be appreciated. So, this video of B scan dynamic B scan demonstrate dislocated lens just in front of the retina you can see the ever changing shape when the B scan probe is moved now next B scan shows even more bright echoes that can be either due to a mature cataract or increased gain and here lens is also away from the retina and in the mid vitreous in the fourth b scan again dropped crystalline lens is shown in a low gain setting and it is present on the surface of the retina in the fifth b scan again dislocated crystalline lens with heterogeneous echoes within the lens substance can be appreciated in 6b scan soft lens can be appreciated in the 7th b scan again localized linear hyperechoic shadows in front of the retina can be seen the linear hyperechoic shadows shows dropped IOL in the next B scan, you can appreciate the haptics and optics of the IOL with hyper and hypoechoic signals. You can correlate A scan spikes with shadows in the vitreous as well. So these three B scans showed dropped IOL. And I hope after watching this, you will not forget how an intraocular lens looks like now comes to the next four B scans and you see that there is a localized pathology dissimilar to crystalline lens and intraocular lens in front of the retina now that's the intraocular foreign body in the second scan even with such low gain the intraocular foreign body is visible in the vitreous in third scan there is highly there is a highly reflective metallic foreign body stuck to the retina now you can see the shadow behind the retina looks like uh, optic nerve so it uh, may be an optic nerve or it can be a shadow of the metallic foreign body now there is a linear track behind it which is basically an artifact because no spike on corresponding A scan can be seen. Now in the fourth B scan round metallic hyper coic foreign body and the retina can be seen. So these were the localized for intraocular foreign bodies in the last p scan of localized pathologies you can see heterogeneous echoes in front of the retina that shows localized vitreous hemorrhage sometimes it is associated with for intraocular foreign body as well but here uh, there is no intraocular foreign body but you should also keep uh, in, in differentials uh, any mass arising from the retina so that was all about the localized pathologies in the vitreous on B scan. Thank you very much.